Zoom, 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 zoom. Eek. Hey everyone, welcome back to Susan's Sunday Spotlight. It is week number 32, and it's also the first week in August of 2019, which means whether we like it or not, school is coming back, and it's coming quickly. So, because it is the first weekend in August, I do plan to share some games that can be used at the beginning of the year, as well as dispersed throughout the year, but a lot of these are going to be fun games that you can use when you meet your new students. This week my plan is to share three of my favorite morning meeting games. In the interest of keeping these videos on the short side, the first one I'm gonna share with you is actually a game that I already recorded in week, I think, three of my Sunday Spotlight, so I'm going to link a card up here. That is the circle game Buzz and Sparkle. There's two different games, but they're very similar, and they are circle games, which work great for morning meeting because we're already sitting in a circle. So I'm not gonna explain that one, just go ahead and click that link after this video and you can go ahead and see it. I will also link it below just in case you wanna grab it there. All three games I'm going to share can be played in a circle because like I said at my morning meeting, I would always have students sitting in a circle anyway. So it was really easy to just have them stand up or stay sitting depending on the game and continue playing. So the second game I will share is Caught Red Handed. This one is always a ton of fun for my kids. All you need to do is pick one student to stand in the middle of the circle and they will close their eyes. I then take three small objects. Here I have ping pong balls, these are really easy. Um, if you have cubes or paper clips, a small pencil maybe, it needs to be like they can hide it in their hand kind of. So it needs to be relatively small. But three small objects and what they will do is they'll put their hands behind their back and the student who stands in the middle is closing their eyes. I usually have them count to like three or five. They're only closing their eyes for a little bit, but in the meantime, everyone else is standing really close in a circle and they're passing the objects behind their backs. So they are passing these objects behind their backs and when the person in the middle opens their eyes, they have to guess and they can take three guesses to try to find all three objects. One of the fun parts about this game is that students will learn, and you can even hint them in, on the fact that they can also be pretending to pass things. So when they're pretending to pass things, it, it tricks the person in the middle. So it's really hard for the person in the middle to guess where all three items are. If they don't guess where all three objects are, they go ahead and join the circle and you pick somebody else to go in the middle. If they did somehow guess where all three objects are, then they get to stay in and play again. And you need to do a better job tricking them. Another circle game I have for you is called Zoom. This one is a lot of fun. Students just sit crisscross applesauce in their circle and they get ready to play. It is called Zoom because students are gonna be practicing making the noise Zoom. I have them practice with me. Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. And Zoom, as I tell my students, reminds me of something going really fast. So their job is to sit in the circle and if I'm the person starting, I have to choose which way I want to look and which way I'm going to go and I'm going to pass my zoom around the circle. So I will look here and say zoom. And that student will look and they will say zoom. And they will keep passing it the same way that I am. So it goes around and around and around. Zoom, 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 zoom. So then what you do to change this game up is you add in the eek, which is like the breaks. So we say that we're going so fast and then anyone who decides to when it gets to their turn, they can stop and say eek and change direction. So if it's coming to me and it's going around the circle and everyone's trying to pass it as fast as they can, zoom, 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 eek, pass it the other way, zoom, 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 eek. And it's just a really fun game that gets students giggling. And I usually just play this for about three minutes at a time. Again, there's no real academic spin on this. It's just a fun, fast-paced game to get your kids giggling and having fun together in the morning. That's also a fun and easy one to use if you have like three to five minutes to spare and you're waiting for some sort of assembly or something like that. You know, those three to five minute breaks where you kind of have nothing to do. So there you have three of my favorite morning meeting games. We have Buzz Slash Sparkle, caught red-handed, and Zoom. I have plenty more morning meeting games that I've played in my classroom and loved before, so if you want me to make another, maybe a round two of this type of video, please go ahead and leave those comments below, and I will do that. As always, I hope you enjoyed watching my Sunday Spotlight. If you liked this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can get a new video every single week. Also, be sure to click that bell, and that way you'll get an email every time I come out with one. See you next week. Bye. So this week my plan is to share three. I need my nails done.